Today, I wanna to show you a quick tip on how to monitor your build times in Xcode. And this is just a small, useful bit of information. You know, if your build times are ridiculously long, this will let you know and you can investigate like what's going on. Maybe it's a sign you need a new computer. Anyway, I'm gonna show you today how to get it to show up at the top of your Xcode every time you build your app so you can see it. And it's relatively simple. Uh, you're just gonna put this line into your command line, hit enter, and you're good to go. And don't worry, I'll have that in the description. You can copy and paste it from there. So here, if we open up our terminal, uh, I'm gonna do command V because I already have it copied. There you go. I'm gonna hit the right arrow to get that white uh, bar out of there. But you see it's default, right, com.apple, whatever, Xcode, show build operation duration. And then you wanna mark this as yes. And if you ever wanted to turn it off, you would just switch this to no and hit enter again. So now I'm gonna hit uh, enter or return, whatever. There we go, I'm good. Now, if you look at the top of my Xcode here, I'm gonna do a command B on my project and it's gonna build. This is like a clean build. I, I did a clean, so that's why it's taking a little bit longer. You know, Xcode and Swift does incremental builds, but this can show you how long your build takes. Um, for context, I am on an iMac Pro, but you can see now 10.2 seconds on a fresh build on the GitHub followers app. That's the course, seanallen.teachable.com. Always gotta plug that in there. But anyway, now anytime you build a project, you're gonna get the little time right there up at the top. Uh, and again, if it's ridiculously long for some unknown reason, right? The app is small, maybe it shouldn't be that long. Well, that's your clue to investigate. Or like I said, maybe it's just time for a new computer. Hope you enjoyed the quick tip. We'll see you in the next video.